is Ewan from Gamma Sports, and we're going to be doing another unboxing video today. Uh, this time it's going to be the Progression 602 FC. Uh, you can find that on our website today for $649.99. You can get this exact machine, um, so feel free to check it out on our website. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Um, if you've been following our unboxing videos, this one's going to be pretty familiar. We've done some very similar machines um, like the X6FC and the Progression 602. So it's going to be a lot of similarities there. But let's get the box open and start getting stuff out. So, just like with most of our machines, there's going to be a piece of styrofoam on top. And then, first thing we've got here, the badminton adapters for the six-point mounting system. And our string clamps here. As well as our tool kit. That's going to contain all the tools and some accessories in there as well. And here we have the, like the drop weight uh, assembly system and the gripper on there. And under this, we will find the base of the machine. And there we go. So, I like to lift off the turntable first just to kind of make it easier to grab the base. If it'll come out here. There we go. That's the turntable. And right here we have the weight. And then the two mounting towers for the six point mounting system all wrapped up there. number two and last but not least the base this might be a little bit tricky there we go all right and there's the base so everything is out of the box here and we are ready to assemble the machine so um, it's not super uh, super complicated to put this machine together pretty easy. Um, so I am going to start with attaching the uh, stand for the drop weight assembly here. And it comes with the screws in the bottom. So you just got to start by taking these out and make sure not to lose the washers. So you will need both of them. And it's pretty clear to see on here where this gets attached. So we'll see the two holes for those screws right here. So we need to attach those from underneath. So you can see what it looks like on the bottom there. Um, you do need that wide washer on that screw so that when you're attaching this, that screw has somewhere to lock into place on. So let me do that real quick. lined up and it would definitely make it a little bit easier if you had someone to help you for this part but it's certainly not necessary you will be able to do it by yourself if you have to let's make sure when you're doing this that those washers like one side of them does not fall into that crack there. You want to make sure that these are both lined up so that, see, you don't want that to happen right there. You want them to be both flat on top. So let me get those adjusted. So 
all the tools that you need to assemble this machine are included. Right now I'm using the six millimeter hex wrench. All right. Now, before I continue putting anything else together here, I'm going to tighten up a screw right here. And this just limits the motion of this arm. So when I tighten that all the way in, you'll see. All right, so now the arm's stopping right where I want it and it's not gonna fall down and hit the table either. All right. So next what I'll do is put the turntable on the base. Super easy. And you can see there's a pin on the bottom of the turntable there. And that just drops right in onto the base like so. Um, and uh, once we do that, we just need to attach the six point mounting system. And like I do in all of my unboxing videos, I'll show you guys the trick to how to get those on. You do need to pop these caps off the side. And you're gonna use that same six millimeter hex wrench again. Go ahead and loosen this up. Once you get that screw out, um, you can leave these plastic washers on or you can take them off. It doesn't really matter either way. Um, the one you will need to keep on there, uh, no matter what is that metal washer up top. So I like to keep the, or uh, take the plastic ones off. I'll do the other side. Now that I have these screws off, I can take my mounting posts and there's a, a kind of a, a wedge there on the bottom and that will fit into this track. And then under here, there's a metal plate and this is what actually locks them to the turntable. So you gotta use your, I'll do it on the other side because I'm right-handed. You'll kind of keep that up towards the top with your fingers and get those lined up before I go ahead and get the screw in there. There we go. All right, and then once you get that attached, you can just go ahead and put the end cap back in place. There we go. And then just do the same thing on the other side. Once you get the turntable assembled, you are pretty much almost finished. Uh, last thing I need to do there is take my die cast string clamps and you just drop right down into these base clamps, nice and easy. Same thing on this side. And there you go. And then uh, last thing to do here is get the weight onto the arm. So there's a small cap up here at the top and that will pop off. And then just loosen the knob on here and slide down nice and easy and then just put the cap back up top and that is how you assemble the progression 602 fc um, at this point we are ready to go i could throw a racket on here and get stringing um, so why don't i take you through the tools that come with the machine um, we have our pliers these also double as the string cutters a really handy tool there you'll definitely need that for any string job um, we've already seen 
the uh, six millimeter hex wrench that comes with the machine, as well as the four millimeter wrench. Um, you need both of those to put the machine together and um, you might need them if you need to do some maintenance or something like that. Uh, this tool is uh, useful for adjusting these base clamps if you need to. Um, maybe you need to tighten them or loosen them if they're too tight. And there's just a spot under the turntable here where you can slide the clamp up. That wrench will fit inside and then you can make the adjustment using that. Also get a smaller three millimeter hex wrench there with the machine. Um, you can use that. There's some screws back here. If you ever need to go in and do maintenance in this area of the machine, you will need that. Over here, we have some replacement plastic padding for the six point mounting system. This set is for these V clamps on the side. Um, sometimes these might break, you might lose them. They could fall off. So um, that's why it's good to have these. Uh, make sure you keep these in a safe place with the machine. Uh, likewise with these, but with these pads, these go on the six and 12 o'clock mounting positions. There's a few different styles in there, uh, depending on what kind of rackets you're stringing or um, if you want like a bigger pad uh, at the end, you have a few options in there. Also, of course, if you do end up losing these, um, it's good to have. Um, finally, these are the badminton shoulder adapters, and these are super easy to use and really convenient for stringing badminton rackets or rackets with a smaller frame than tennis rackets. You can see they just snap really nicely onto the side there and give you some, uh, some more, um, more enclosure for those smaller frames on the side. Um, and with that, that is all the features of the Progression 602 FC. Uh, really, really high quality drop weight machine. It's about as good as it, uh, as, good as it gets for a drop weight uh, with those fixed clamps. Um, you're going to be able to string really accurately um, on this machine if you know what you're doing. So um, that is uh, pretty much wraps up this unboxing video. Um, Check this machine out on our website. Uh, it's available for $649.99. I hope you like the. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found some helpful tips in here. Please like and subscribe uh, for more Gamma content.